Okay, so let's look at how to split a string. So let's make the string. Okay. Now, when we split a string, we use the split function, and we're going to split it into an array. So let's make the array. So that's the array that's going to store our string actually our words after we split it let's use the split function now so there it is and we're going to tell it to split it on that space and that's the actual that's the space right here that we're going to split on so when we're done splitting it we'll have hello and w the zero index and we'll have there in the one index. Okay, so let's actually print out the uh, first item in the array and we'll give it a run. Okay, so we give this a run and there we have our hello. So you can see that in, in the array, the first one is the hello, the second one is the there. So if we go like this and we tell it to print it out, the second one will have the index of one. So the first one has an index, index of zero, now we have the index of one, and we tell it to split and store it into this array. So there's our hello there. Okay, now something that you might want to do is actually split on two so let's say you have something like this so if you try to do this it's not going to let you you get an error message okay like that so what we need to do is we actually need to make an array of characters to search into into that um, into that string Okay, so we need to make an array of characters to search into that string. So let's do that. So we need another array. And I'll call this um, D for delimiter. Okay. And we have to make it an array. Say new string. Okay. And now we're going to put the characters that we want in here. So we want to split, okay, on those two dashes. Okay, so this is this is what we're going to feed to the split function, which won't take the character uh, as a single character uh, as as multiple characters into that split function. So now we're going to replace this with the D. Okay, and that's this array that we just put these characters into. And then we have to do this. We're going to add something, and we need to use the split string options. And for now, we're going to do none. Okay, now you'll see that we'll split using these two characters to split the string. Let's give that a run. And there's our hello there. Okay, and you might be wondering um, what this none is for. So sometimes you can have this, and then you can also have it again. So technically what it is, is that there's an empty here. There's nothing there. So you have hello, nothing, and there. And sometimes that nothing might actually be empty, like that. So technically there are three items here. So let's look at that. Let's run this. Okay, now you notice the second item is missing. Well, it's not missing. It's actually the empty. So we printed hello and then the empty, okay? And we can prove that by printing out the third item, okay? Which will have the index of two, give it a run. So you see we have hello, empty there. And so what this none does is it actually will accept that empty as, as, it, as part of the index. 
So what we want to do is if, if we don't want that, we'll replace it and we'll use remove empty entries. Okay. So we're not going to need this third one because it won't be there. We're only going to have two items now because now the empty will be ignored. So let's give this a run. Now you see it says hello there. Okay. Because this tells it to ignore empty uh, items. Okay, so that's um, that's a, sh a small introduction to the split function. Okay, uh, I hope you like that.